You don't live here anymore. No. But I do live in here. Yeah, you are right. That is disgusting. Ethan, I don't even want to talk to you. All right, Senna, fine. You made that very clear last night. If you don't want to talk to me, you can listen instead. You're very bold, all of a sudden. I guess a posh conquest will do that for you. You're the only posh conquest I want. She kissed me and you saw me pushing her away. Well, you must have done something to give her the green light. No, I didn't, all right? It's you and Rafe she's interested in. See, now, this was always the plan. If we're going to play with fire, one of us is bound to get hurt. No, one kiss for me. That was the plan. You know, it's not easy for me to see you flirting with Rafe. I have to trust you, Sienna, and now the shoe's on the other foot and you don't like it. No, I don't. Right, Dilly is playing you like a fiddle and you are letting her with your ridiculous accusations, right? Bottom line is, if we can't trust each other, there is no point in this plan. Or our relationship. So, let's see how long you can sit next to me without wanting to kiss me. To me, it's simple. You like me and I like you. No strings attached. What do you say? I say no. A very, very firm no. That's a shame. May I ask why? I just don't find you attractive. <laughs> no. What's the real reason? You're full of yourself, aren't you? But I really don't appreciate you kissing me, Dilly. Mm, you didn't, or someone else didn't. Well, it caused a lot of awkwardness between me and Sienna. Hmm. I didn't realise there was a me and Sienna. There isn't. So what's the problem? It's just... It's just what? <clears throat> You're still into her, aren't you? No. Well, I saw the look on her face and I'd say she's still into you. I've got the measure of that woman, don't you worry. My concern is, if she's not done with you, what's her interest in my brother? What do I owe this pleasure? Seeing you is always a pleasure, but I'm actually here to ask for your help. Oh, OK. Thank you. As you know, I've recently purchased the market. Yeah, I have to say I was a little surprised. I mean, it's definitely a brown on the Monopoly board. <laughs> well, like a lot of things around here, I think it has potential. In any case, I wondered whether you could advise me Sure. Um, how? <laughs> oh, you have a way with words, and I wondered whether you could make some suggestions as to what I might call the place. A way with words, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, m maybe a word game could help. You have a good eye, and I agree, we do want to raise the clientele slightly. And are you going to run the market yourself? God, no. I just like the village and wanted to um, widen my stake here. <laughs> and what about your other business projects? How are they going? You know, they're going. Lots of travel, of course. I spend far too much of my life on planes. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> Although, all of this buying and selling, it must be pretty risky at times. What's life without a little risk? Every day, we're in danger of losing everything that's dear to us. Some people shy away from that, but I say, bring it on. Well, I have never been risk averse, so I will drink to that. <laughs> How are we both? Great. We have had a lovely afternoon playing banana grass. Sienna finished with an eight-letter word. I still can't believe you managed to win with two Zs. Bravo. And here's me thinking X's were the most tricky to get over. Ethan and I have had a beautiful afternoon. Ethan? Really? Oh, Rafe, don't try and pretend we don't all take a dip in the bargain bucket every now and again. Dilly. Oh, God, I am so late. It was really lovely spending time with you <laughs> again. Bye.
after you. Oh, you think you have him wrapped round your finger, don't you? Don't I? I know that you're not interested in Ethan. He's just a little plaything to you. Well, thanks to you, I've not got the chance to take him for a spin. He was like a little rabbit caught in the headlights when your wolfish glare interrupted my seduction. First man to not reciprocate. Most unusual. The real question is, if you were so into Rafe, why do you care? Either you still care for Ethan, or there's something else going on here. I will find out what you're up to. You may think you're smart, Sienna Blake, but I'm more than a match for you. Shout at me if you use my keys again, or... No, I was being silly, Ethan. I'm sorry. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, too. And you're right. If we can't trust each other, then we don't have anything. Agreed. Only Rafe would be that cheesy. Yeah, he was here, but... All part of the plan. And, you know, I think it's working. OK, well, then that's just... Focus on that. This is really hard, Sienna. Right, the thought of him being here and flirting with you is driving me mad. OK, so just put it out of your mind, okay? because we cannot afford for Dilly to suss us out, and she is smarter than she looks. We're going to have to wake up early to catch her out. Well, you know, I'm prepared to stay up all night. All night? Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, we have got to prove there's nothing between us. Agreed.